Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadiah Shakur. The man pictured in the photo behind me is Timothy Haslett Jr. He's from Excelsior Springs, Missouri, which is 30 miles northeast of Kansas City, Missouri. He's currently in police custody because on October the 7th, a woman fled from his home where she barely escaped with her life. She was naked, wearing handcuffs, and had an iron collar around her neck. She said that he had snatched her from Prospect back in September and held her captive ever since. She said that she had been raped and tortured, and she clearly appeared to be malnourished. Now, she also said there were other victims and said that, sadly, they didn't make it. So, I'm sure he killed them. She also said that there was a vicious pit bull that guarded the door so that they couldn't get out. When she escaped from the house on October 7th, she let that dog out and she ran for her life. And thank God she did. Now, police aren't given a lot of details, but they do say that he'll likely be tied to other crimes. They've been gathering and collecting evidence for days. They've also started to board up the house where the victim fled from. Now, people who know Timothy Haslett have said that they're surprised, you know, that he didn't seem like this type of person. There was a woman who dated him after she met him on, met him on a dating site. And she said that he was clean cut and that he was very nice. And that, in fact, another person said they were shocked to see him and uh, looking this way and for them to be describing him as some sort of mountain man because he never looked this way in the past. Uh, she also said that if these crimes are true, that it was likely a mental break. I want you to pay attention because when these people who are clearly psychopaths and as far as I'm concerned, inherited something called the Iceman Inheritance. When these people are out here on the prowl and killing melanated people, there's always some narrative being painted and pushed that they had mental illness. The mental illness card is usually what's played. Well, at the end of the day, I don't think there's anything mentally wrong with him. He clearly is nefarious, okay? He had a child in the home. Now, the woman escaped after he left on October the 7th to take his child to school which was only two to five minutes away. So she didn't have very much time to act. The first neighbor that she went to didn't even want to help.